the future is so bright, they have to wear shades on their sword? Hey! What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Don Brothers DX Zunglass Sword. So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. All right up front here, we have the sword that we have on Don Momotaro. Up top, we have our other Don Brothers. Up top here on the flap, we have our various... Leaders from the previous Sentai teams. Here we have Domonotaro. On the other side, we have the whole team. On the back of the box, we have our obligatory product shots, this and that and things and stuff. And on the bottom, we have words and things that I cannot read. We do have warning. Don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And we have... Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for... The packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have the Zangla Sword, another weapon in the arsenal of the Don Brothers. And here it is. Yes, a pretty cool looking sword. Very interesting design, as has been everything on this show. Very interesting. But yeah, let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Of course, we have the Don Brothers symbol right there, done in that gold chrome. Ah, you can kind of see me in it. You have your little spinny, spinny gear right here. You can see the blade done in a nice transparent plastic. We're going to have some lights going off in there. We also have some nice tempographed detailing right there as well. The handle done in yellow and black. Got your trigger right there. Your battery compartment is right here. It takes uh, three AAA batteries, which are not included. You'll have to get those yourself. Uh, you have a little bit here that will scan to get some other noises. And your speaker is right here in the symbol itself. But yeah, overall, looks pretty cool. Um, Size-wise, I do quite like the size of the sword. Um, from end to end, it measures in at about uh, 19 and a half inches long, so it's nice. It doesn't feel like a fancy butter knife, as is usually the case with these roleplay swords, so I do quite like that, but yeah, overall, a pretty interesting looking weapon here. So without further ado, Let's get down to the noises. So again, your on-off switch is right here. Turn it on, and we get... And you can see those LEDs, those multiple colored LEDs going off there in the blade. I'll do it again. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. <laughs> so, now we can go into some attacks here. So, I'll just pull the trigger. Get that going on. See the lights going off in the blade. Pull trigger. Get slashy slashy. Slashy slashy. More slashy slashies. And you see the colors will change. You can rapid fire that if you want to. Now if you hold the trigger down. Get that standby noise. And spin the gear. And explosions! And explosions. So now, if you just spin the gear. So you get that going, and now, if you just spin the gear, And explosions and explosions. So there you have that. 
So now another thing we can do is we can use the Dun Blaster to trigger a new attack in the Zangla Sword. And just so you can see them together, you can see they're nice and color coordinated. I like it. I like matching aesthetics. But anyway, what you're going to do here is you're going to take this section of the sword and press it down onto this section of the gun and hold it there and we will get a new noise. So right now I have Nomamotaro's gear in there. So just hold it down. Let go. So you have Domomotaro. And next up, Oni Sister. And next up, we have Saru brother. And moving on to Kiji brother. And now moving on to Inu Brother. And now moving on to our uh, Legend Sentai gear, we'll start with Zen Kaijer. <laughs> and the last one we're going to do here is Tokyuja. And explosions and explosions. So, you get know, the idea what happens there when you scan some Legend Sentai gears. So, there you go. So there you have the Zangla sword, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I do quite like it. Um, you know, it's it's fun. It's definitely fun. Some cool noises you get out of it. Very catchy standby music and all that. So yeah, fun little role play sword here. I do quite like it. So. There you go. Now I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Super Sentai Toys. I'll put a link to their sites in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Don Brothers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Don Brothers DX Zenglass Sword, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Boom in your face!